It is Tommy bringing you the wisdom of the ancient Norse with your Viking Oracle message. And today's message is card 32, Odin. I like the color of that card. It's like a nice blue. Seek guidance to resolve an issue. Gather knowledge from a variety of sources. Respect experience. It takes time to develop wisdom and knowledge. Be patient. Spread the runes to receive more knowledge. The All-Father, he hangs from the great tree, pierced between life and death, waiting upon the word to reveal itself. Patiently, wise sacrifice serves us, honors him. Odin, who was referred to as the All-Father because of his position as a protector and leader of both gods and humans, was perhaps the most honored of all Norse gods. He was considered the wisest, wisest of all gods, and the most well-known of his children is the thunder god Thor. Odin is a key figure in the Viking mythos. He features, he features in many wonderful stories, most of which have as their theme the pain was mon one must undergo to obtain wisdom. Odin is often depicted with only one eye, as he had exchanged the other for a sip of the well of wisdom when he was on his way to the world tree. The single sip enabled him to see far, know much, and listen to all the stories of the world, which made him wise indeed. Odin had a subtle duality. He was both a god of bloody war and death, and a god of storytelling and intelligence. Warriors honored him before battle, for they hoped to enter his hall, Valhalla, if they died in combat. Fathers and teachers honored him too, in hopes that they would be wise and protective of the children in their care. Those who wished to glimpse their future or gather wisdom through an oracle could use the oracular tool he discovered, the runes, which were symbols most often carved on bone, wood, or stone. To obtain the runes, runes from the well of word, Odin hung himself from a branch of Yggdrasil, pierced himself with a spear, and peered down into the shadowy waters below, remaining there for nine nights until the runes revealed themselves to him. Odin teaches us that education and listening to the wisdom of others is invaluable to our growth and development. It. The more we know about a situation, the better we can assess it. Therefore, research is rarely wasted. Odin also suggests we consult those with direct experience on a topic on which we seek information. If we need guidance in any situation, we can turn to Odin, and he can guide us towards the answers that we need. So what I'm getting is, don't be afraid to ask for help. And if you're going after something or have a project or want to do something, um, emulate what someone that you think is doing it well already. You got this. Keep going. I love you.